Hello Wiz Kids, I'm just putting up my Christmas decorations. I'm so excited for Christmas. Have you got your decorations up yet? I think I've got time for just one more bauble before Wiz Kids TV starts. Have fun watching Wiz Kids TV today. See you soon.
Hi Wiz Kids, are you ready for this week's story? Right, from the beginning, God had a plan. He had a very specific plan for how he was going to save his people and bring them back to him. He was going to send someone to put an end to sin and death once and for all. Do you know who it was? It was Jesus. It's almost Christmas time, isn't it? When we get to celebrate the birth of Jesus. Now we know that Jesus was born in a manger in Bethlehem. We know he was the son of God. We know that he grew up to do incredible things and we know that he died on a cross to save us so that we could be with God forever. We know that, but the people in the Old Testament didn't. They didn't know what was going to happen or who Jesus was. But God was very clever. He left clues throughout all the Bible. He used people and stories in the Old Testament in the Bible to point towards Jesus and what he was going to do. God would talk to people, he would talk to prophets and tell them what his plans were so that they could share them with everyone hundreds of years before Jesus was even born. One of these prophets was called Isaiah. God told Isaiah that Jesus was coming. He promised him in the book of Isaiah, in chapter 9, verse 6, Isaiah prophesied, For to us a child is born, to us a son is given, and the government will be on his shoulders, and he will be called Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, and Prince of Peace. That's a pretty cool prophecy. They called him Wonderful that means he was really, really, really good, like the best that there was. They prophesied that Jesus was going to be mighty. That means he was going to be extremely powerful. They prophesied that he was going to be everlasting. That meant he was going to live forever and ever and ever without end. It, the Bible said that he was going to be the Prince of Peace. That means Jesus was going to be the leader to bring peace to all of his people. I don't know about you, but Jesus sounds amazing. And Isaiah thought so too. He told everyone he knew about what God had told him. And he wrote it in the Bible too. He told everyone to be on the lookout. They didn't know exactly who was coming, and they didn't know how long they would have to wait, but they did know that God had promised them that a saviour was coming. And even though they had to wait a really, really long time, they were excited. And God kept his promise. God always keeps his promises. He sent his son, Jesus, to save them. And Jesus was and is wonderful. He was and is mighty. He was and is everlasting. And he was and is the Prince of Peace. Isn't it cool that God had a plan from the start and he wanted to share it with people? And isn't it cool that we now get to celebrate the birth of Jesus and all that he did? Whiskids, I hope you have a great Christmas as we celebrate Jesus. Bye. God's Story, Preparing for Jesus. So part of God's story is about how he prepared us for Jesus. And it begins like this. Remember when God created a perfect garden? He then created a perfect family, Adam and Eve, to live in the garden with him forever. He trusted them with life as long as they obeyed one rule. Unfortunately, Adam and Eve didn't trust God, and they disobeyed. Now Adam, Eve, everyone would have to die, separating us from God forever. This made God very sad, but he had a plan. He knew that he could still save his people through a great rescue, Jesus. Jesus was a big deal, and just like any big deal, people had to get ready for him. It's like before a big movie comes out, you watch the previews so you know what's coming. Well, Jesus was such a big deal that his previews started thousands of years before he came. The first preview is about a man named Abraham. 
God promised to make Abraham the father of God's special family. God gave Abraham one special son to start the family, Isaac. Now Abraham knew that one day he would have to die because of what happened in the garden. Every time Abraham did something wrong, God could have said, okay, because you've done this bad thing, you now have to die. But he didn't. Instead, God said, how about killing a lamb instead? It can die so you don't have to. Thank you, said Abraham. But one day, God asked Abraham to do something different. God said, okay, because you've done this bad thing, your son Isaac has to die. This made Abraham very sad. But he decided to trust him anyway, even though this meant that he would never have the giant family God had promised. When Isaac asked where the sacrifice was, Abraham said, God will provide it. And guess what? He did! A ram died, so Isaac didn't have to. The second preview happened hundreds of years later. Abraham's family, the Israelites, had gotten huge, but they were stuck as slaves in Egypt under a mean king called Pharaoh. He would not let the Israelites leave, so God said, Okay, because Pharaoh has done this bad thing, every firstborn son in the land of Egypt has to die. The bad news was this meant that the Israelite sons would have to die along with the Egyptian sons. But the good news was God, once again, created a rescue plan. God said, anyone who kills a lamb and paints the blood on their door will be saved. The destroyer will pass over your house. The lambs died so the sons didn't have to. Over and over again, when there was trouble, God sent a sheep to die so his people didn't have to. Until finally, God revealed his final rescue plan. The previews were over. It was time for the feature presentation. At last, Jesus the rescuer came. He lived on earth just like us, but then he died to take away the punishment we deserved. Jesus died so we don't have to. But guess what else? Jesus didn't stay dead like the sheep. He came back to life and went up to heaven. Now we can be close to God again. And one day, he'll recreate a perfect world for God's whole family to live in forever. Just like the original garden, but better. And that's the story of how God prepared us for Jesus. So in case you missed it, here's the quick version. Death separated us from God. God planned a great rescue. He gave us previews. A ram died so Isaac didn't have to. Lambs died so the Israelite sons didn't have to. Finally, Jesus died so we don't have to. But Jesus came back to life. Now death can't separate us from God. And that's a part of God's story. Ruby the Reindeer thought that was an amazing episode of Wiz Kids TV. Hope you guys enjoyed it as much as she did. See you all soon. Bye.